What is up everybody? Jaco here today and today I just got done at the gym and now on my way home. Now it looks to me like my camera has been lagging a lot and my phone has been lagging a lot and the question is why? Why has it been lagging especially when I'm recording in Full HD, 30 frames a second, it, it shouldn't be lagging, that doesn't make any sense. But um, today I want to talk about something, I also want to announce my family channel, so before I get into this video I want to talk about that, oh my god that's a lot of glass. Um, I want to talk about my family channel and what I'm going to be working on, I definitely um, want to work on something that I enjoy doing and also making memories with my family and being able to share them with the world. Now, my work can affect me, which could suck in a, in a bad way, but I'm going to do this under just my name and not include you know, my last name or my, you know, my stepkids' last names or my kids' last names. Nobody's last names are being involved, just, just our first names. And it's gonna be orientated you know around my family and stuff like that and kind of showing my daughter growing up my daughter's about to turn one on Friday so I now she's at a point where it's gonna be easier to you know film and record I also got inspired by this other couple what? this other couple who have a, a one-year-old daughter as well and they have another kid on the way so this girl has been making videos for five years, has 1.34 million followers, and I don't look up to them, but they inspire me. And the, the reason why I say that is they inspire me to work hard until I can produce those numbers. And it's just like, I, like in my career, like I just posted a photo of me when I was 21, and just that photo alone got 5,000 likes on Twitter in legit less than 24 hours and it's crazy because my content now doesn't even get a fifth of that in 24 hours so even though I do get a lot of even though I get a do get a lot of compliments this guy just like flat out cut me out you know I do get a lot of compliments um I think and a lot of people are like hey you know you look better with age etc 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 I think that's just people being nice and maybe people do like me more mature looking but I posted a video where I had no hair on my body whatsoever and people just got over it like oh my god you're so beautiful and that's great I love when people compliment me and everything like that but it made me realize that the the peak of my career which was 2020 I, I don't know if I can ever hit those numbers again solo and then once I do dip my feet into the pool, I'm gonna have to dip it and go into the pool. Meaning like once I explore that side and work with that side, I gotta go into it and then do that type of stuff. And that's gonna be very difficult for me um, as a family man, as a, um, a person who's supposed to be committed and a person who you know has, has his own pride and doesn't label himself that way. So it would, it would, primarily be for my fans but at the end of the day it would be for me as well because I feel like it would help me make more money but back to the family channel thing my family channel is has nothing to do with my work life whatsoever it's gonna be like one of our videos is gonna be our Christmas second Christmas celebration together um, so stuff like that and it's very family oriented and I want to make videos that other people can relate to and be like oh yeah I wish I had a family like that even I can have a family like that I can have those things I don't want to be like I want to be a humble family that people feel like they can be as well and that's the goal for the family channel so I won't be advertising that on my um, anywhere with my work related stuff however that if people stumble upon it they stumble upon it but I'm going to make sure if people write information about my work in there, it's all, they're automatically just gonna be removed and I don't know if you can mute specific words or not, but that's that's not the point of the videos. The point of the videos are, are family videos and that's how I wanna keep them. So let's get to the main topic of this video. I don't think it would have been 10 minute topic anyway, so it's, I'm glad we talked about the family channel and talked about you know the peak of the career and et cetera. So I wanna talk about 
the difference of loving somebody and lusting over somebody. Now, I know a lot of my fans tell me they love me, and you might love me as a person, but you don't love me as a significant other, and you never will love me as a significant other. And I'm not saying that I can't be loved, it's just what you have is a lust feeling over somebody. Now, I'm not just talking about my fan base in general, I'm talking about anytime we find somebody attractive, we might find them attractive, we might wanna sleep with them, we might even wanna sleep with them again, right? But I don't think you really want to love that person because you fall in love by specific things. Maybe having a child together. Maybe having things in common that you guys do every single day together. You fall in love by making a best friend and then falling in love with that best friend. If you just sleep with somebody on the first day, the chances of you actually loving that person, in my personal opinion, is slim to none. I don't think that's possible, right? It's, it's, it's like I said, slim to none. It doesn't mean it can't happen. I just find it very hard to happen. So it's just, I, I look at, you know, how people like jump on it and go after, you know, attractive women or attractive man, men. And it's not that they really want to like them. They might not even want to date them. They might not even want to see them again, but they just want to sleep with them or they just want to, you know, value their beauty. And you know, you can appreciate somebody's beauty, that's fine. I mean, you're, you are lusting over them, but you're not lusting over them to a point where you're just like, I wanna rip their clothes off and have sex with them. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with my fans lusting over me, there isn't. I, I'm an entertainer at the end of the day and that's what they're gonna do. And you know, I do appreciate that, but I don't give, like, the, like I, I said many times, I don't give the false hope of being like, hey, you guys have a chance with me, we can go out, we can date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's, it's just not gonna happen. And I don't, like I said, you might say you wanna date me or wanna be my husband or whatever, or, or girlfriend or wife, whatever. You don't really want to. And be, I'm gonna tell you why. Because you don't know me. Now, you might know a lot about me, but you don't know me, right? Like when I thought about moving on from my current relationship and thought about being with somebody else, there's so many girls that like I'm attracted to that I would love to, you know, if I was single, caress and make love, like not even make love, make lust to and have sex with and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, I would be like, I don't love this person, right? I love the person that I made a child with. That's, that's who I love. And now, you know, you might say, well, well why would you have sex with somebody else? Having sex and making love is two completely different things, right? If you are literally doing it to get off and that's it, and you know, like, literally, if I went to, like, a girl that I thought was, like, very attractive and had a banging body and everything, I probably let it out in, like, 20 seconds. Like, what did I do for this person, right? What, like, what did I do? I didn't do anything, right? I used that person for my own personal gain, which personally I don't do, but I used this person for my own personal gain and I did something that I could have done by myself and probably lasted a little bit longer than, than 20 seconds. So I just wanna say that, you know, even though I contemplated talking to other people when I felt my relationship became open and unexistent, I didn't, take that leap and jump on anything because I knew that I would be using somebody and it would be so temporary temporarily that not only that like you could be in a relationship and two people can be like hey we're in an open relationship we can do who, whatever we want we're in. it affects people people have hearts people have feelings you can't just do that to somebody and think that that things are going to be okay I, I don't I don't believe that can work out like you might say that, I know I made a video about this, but you can say that all you want. I, I don't personally see that working out, but to each their own. So like I was saying that there's women in the gym, like I go to the gym and I see pretty girls, right? But I don't go up to these pretty girls and be like, hey man, I know I'm taken, but if I wasn't taken, I'd probably be banging your back out. Like I don't do that because it's not gonna happen, right? So why even talk about it? it's not worth it, right? Because I, I don't ever wanna ruin the relationship my daughter thinks I have with her mother, right? 
I'd rather be in a relationship where, you know, I'm happy and contempt and in love versus meeting somebody new every couple days and just banging it out and being like, oh, this is a fresh face, fresh PU, SS, you know what? If it's gonna mess up my relationship with my daughter, I, I, I would never do it. I just never do it. Not only that, I do consider people's feelings as well. So I just wanna make this video real fast to talk about the difference between lust and love. I know a lot of people do understand this concept and the meanings behind it, but again, we can we can lust over people all we want. We can lust to the, the point where we're, we're sleeping with people, but people gotta stop saying that they love somebody if they don't really love somebody because you don't really love them, right? And then honestly, if you're a man like myself, uh, chances are your second head is thinking harder than your first head when it comes to thinking about these things. So I'm Jake. Hope y'all have a great day. Lust first love.